Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about lots of updates to the DE10 Nano clone, Otego updating the System 18 core, a Mr. FPGA multi-system jam-packed with a lot of goodies, and more. Also check out my channel sponsor Mr. Add-ons, a place where you can get all your Mr. needs. Things like full Mr. setups, IO boards, accessories, and more. Now let's get to the news. Rani Snice released a new wallpaper for the Mr. FPGA. Hotego recently released a beta of the System 18 core, so this paper is based on the Alien Storm arcade game that runs on that hardware. It looks really awesome and you can download it now through Update All. Just enable Rani Snice's wallpapers in the settings. Rani Snice also released another awesome wallpaper based on Castlevania The New Generation for the Mega Drive. This game was also known as Castlevania Bloodlines in the US. Again, like all of Rani's wallpapers, you can have Update All download them for you by enabling them in the settings. The packaging box for the DE10 Nano Alternative has been shown off and also the initial name of the board is Mr. Pi. The name doesn't really make sense to me because the first thing that comes to my head is an incompatible wannabe Pi clone. There are many other single board computers out there with Pi on their names and they do not get nowhere near the support or compatibility as the Raspberry Pi. So using the Pi name doesn't really sit well with me on this. There are also more details shared. What's included will be listed in the bottom. Nothing is set at the moment, but they are waiting for some power adapter samples to arrive and the board will probably have the top plate assembled in the box. Regarding the RAM add-on, it can be purchased separately, but if you purchase it at the same time as the board, it will be pre-installed. Someone asked how long will the console versions come out after this device and it was said, consoles won't be so fast. The design stage is the fastest stage and you can see how long that already took. Later in the week, it seems that there has been enough backlash on the name to consider a name change from Mr. Pi. Other possible names considered are Pixel Forge, Retro FPGA, or Mr. SBC. A name change will require at least a one month delay but if they continue with the existing Mr. Pi name, the late June slash early July date will be likely. Pixel Forge is my preferred name because it actually makes me curious about what the device is. But when it comes down to it, the name is the last thing I'm worried about. Having a name I don't like will not stop me from buying the device. The poll ended with the Retro FPGA being the winner. However, I cannot find a confirmation if there will be a name change or delay. An update on pricing was also given. Initial pricing was set to be at $115 for the FPGA board with RAM chip, the board alone at $100, and the RAM chip by itself at $20. Then we got some more good news. Pricing will actually be cheaper than these initial prices. No updated pricing was given, but they also plan on selling the version 9.2 analog I.O. board and the updated USB hub. They are unsure if they will sell cases though. If you plan on using your current I.O. and USB boards with this new DE10 Nano alternative, you will have to be very careful because it looks like a 12 volt power supply will be included instead of the 5 volt one that current DE10 Nanos use. Using 12 volts on current I.O. boards will cause damage, so we have to be very careful. There will be a 5 volt cable included so we can use current I.O. boards and Swords is planning to update the two I.O. boards that benefit from the board-to-board -board interconnect changes. Taki did show a current digital I.O. board being powered using 5 volts with his DE10 Nano alternative, but again, we have to be very careful and not rush when plugging things in. Hopefully a clear warning is included in the packaging. The I.O. board and USB boards that Taki's team is planning on selling will cost around $10 each. This is a ballpark figure so it's not set in stone. These updated boards will work with the current DE10 Nano. You just wouldn't use the power connector on the I.O. board with a DE10 Nano. They do also plan on selling stock of these boards to current Mr. Sellers. David Shadoff updated the Mr. FPGA ADC test to the latest framework. It can now also handle two channels of data via stereo on the display. The ADC test core reads digital sample values from the ADC input on the I.O. board and displays them graphically on screen in real time. A use for the ADC input port is the ability to connect analog tape players 
and have cores read data from tapes that have software encoded on them. There is a post on the Mr. FPGA forums that has a list of cores that support ADC input. Last week, I spoke about the PlayStation Core getting rumble support for the NegCon. Some of my viewers told me that the NegCon did not have rumble. I never owned one, so I wouldn't be aware of that. However, that was not a typo. NegCon rumble was a feature that was added. I did a little bit of research, and it turns out that some racing wheels used the NegCon protocol, and some of those wheels also supported rumble. So some games were able to take advantage of those wheels, NegCon protocol usage, and rumble. Core developer S. Hodge, or Shaj, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly, has updated the Coco 2 computer core. They fixed the Mr. Slash Coco 2 interface, preventing the joysticks ever reaching the max value of 63. Additionally, the D-pad emulation was fixed to reach extremes for all buttons. This was verified in the Tandy Diagnostics. Some future to-dos were also listed. They are getting the floppy disk controller working for Dragon, change back to Cycle Accurate 09, add cassette save, update the template, add daily build number, create compatible software tested spreadsheet, and fix double speed poke in the SAM. Bedroom Ninja is going to be releasing a new NFC case. This one is based on the Famicom family disk system. The first prototype has been shown, but it is looking really faithful to the original device. This case is meant to house an NFC reader so you can use the Tap2 project in order to launch games using NFC cards. And if you're curious, Bedroom Ninja is still developing the Famicom Disk System Mr. Case, but is waiting on some of the new DE10 Nano clone boards to release. A new company called Marsupial Solutions LLC is releasing its first product called the M3, or Marsupial Mr. FPGA Multisystem. It is an all-in-one solution Mr. FPGA console. If you're a fan of the Tap2 project, you will be happy to know that it has an integrated NFC reader so you can launch games via NFC cards. They even have been able to get licensed games and software included with the console. These licensed titles include Artemio's 24P Test Suite, Astabros by Neofid, Demons of Astaborg, also by Neofid, Cyborg Force by Neo Byte Force, and Dottie Flowers by Goldlock. These titles will also be encoded into included Tap2 Hollow 3D FX NFC cards designed by Ario Aces. I have some of these Hollow 3D FX cards and they look simply awesome. This console was also possible thanks to Heber Limited, who open sourced the Mr. Multisystem board. Here is the full list of features for the console. It will include the Marsupial Mr. Multisystem console with DE10 Nano. There will be a limited 3D printed case in the console style of choice. These console styles include PlayStation Gray, Neo Geo AES Galaxy Black, Genesis slash Mega Drive Galaxy Black, and a standard version 6 Jet Black or Galaxy Purple. 3D printing is done by Todd's Nerd Cave. Also included is a 5 volt Meanwell power supply, a Retro Fighters Defender wireless controller, integrated module for a Tap2 NFC reader, integrated snack and user I.O. port, dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth USB adapter, 128GB Samsung Evo SD card, 6-foot SCART to SCART cable from Retro Gaming Cables, an HD digital video cable, mini wireless keyboard with USB adapter, USB-A to micro USB cable, it will have the latest Mr. Software pre-installed, and the latest Tap2 software. There's a lot of premium stuff being packed into this console. A limited amount of units will be available, 110 in total, each numbered, serialized, and signed by the final inspector. The price will be $649. Core developer Javier has updated the Akari Warriors and Victory Road cores. He's added support for the GRS Super Joystick from Thunderstick Studio. The joystick features an Akari Warriors art theme and most importantly, features a rotary joystick just like the one used in the arcade game, giving you the authentic control experience. 
Kuro has done some testing with the latest reference I.O. board from Sorge. Reference boards now support 24-bit video, and for RGB, it just missed reference quality. But you're still going to get really good image output, as Kuro says that it's a massive overall improvement over the reference 6.1 I.O. board. Component video was also tested, and the results are even better than RGB, as you will get reference quality. Hotego's team has been busy adding games and maintaining cores. The System 18 core now has support for Clutch Hitter, a baseball game. The Beta JTS House core adds support for the four-player version of Tank Force. The CPS-1 core now has support for the Street Fighter 2 Quick and Bootlegs. Hotego thanks Terminator 2K2 for the reference MRA file for these bootlegs. Parodia's sprite scaling and position is now correctly implemented. Sprite position in Bionic Commando is fixed. Some games also had ROM name changes, but this won't affect Mr. FPGA users. The System 16, System 16B, OutRun, Hang-On, and System 18 cores now implement NVRAM saving. Hotego says this about how the NVRAM was used on these systems. What each game title did with that preserved information is highly variable. Some games like Altered Beast, Time Scanner, and Riot City will keep the high scores. Most of them will keep track of the system uptime and the number of games and coins. A few do not do anything with this. And finally, work on the Neo Geo Pocket Color continues. The system boots with the color firmware but is not ready for a beta update yet. You can read more detailed info for all these updates on Hotego's Patreon page. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.